Hello friends, in this video we will talk about vitamin B2 and B3. First we will discuss about vitamin B2. So vitamin B2 is riboflavin. So what is the structure we are observing? We have 6,7,6,7 dimethyl isoaloxazine ring with a 5 carbon ribitol sugar. Here is the ribitol sugar and the 6,7 dimethyl isoaloxazine ring. Now, the function of this vitamin is in the form of the coenzymes only, FMN and FAD. So, from riboflavin on phosphorylation, we will get the FMN and FAD. Okay? Right. This is the acceptance of hydrogen, FAD plus 2, FADH2. This is what happens. The hydrogen is added. You can see in the pink circles there. Now, some examples of NAD plus and FAD plus enzymes. Just one, two examples are sufficient. For example, let us take uh, xanthin to uric acid. Okay. Right. So, two examples we take xanthin to uric acid and pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. Enough. For NAD plus, you can take lactate dehydrogenase and uh, beta hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase that is catalyzing beta hydroxy acyl coa to beta keto acyl coa in detoxidation okay or you can just in okay uh, instead you can leave this and take this example pdh complex and ldh complex easier right let's see the rda and sources first is rda 1, 1 to 1.5, there is a correction there. 1 to 1.5 milligrams per day. For a pregnant and lactating woman, another 0.2 to 0.4 milligram per deciliter more. These are some sources. Like, take few sources like spinach, tomatoes, cabbage, okay, eggs, mushrooms, etc. Uh, this vegetables, fruits, milk and milk products, uh, fish, oils, all this will be common for all the vitamins. Okay? For all B complex, this will be common. Okay? Right. Now we go to the applied aspect. We have chiliosis, glossitis, dermatitis. Chiliosis is fissuring at the corners of the mouth. Glossitis. The inflammation of the tongue and dermatitis, the swollen skin. Now we go to B3. B3 is niacin. Here we can see this is the niacin vitamin. Right. This is the structure of NAD+. You are seeing. Okay. Now let's see some 2-3 reactions, examples. Okay. Right. We take uh, one example. In the HMP shunt pathway, G6P2, 6-phosphogluconate. First step of HMP shunt pathway. That is glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconate by dehydrogenase enzyme. That one. And you can also take malate to pyruvate by malic enzyme. Okay. Just two examples. These are other examples you are seeing. Now we go to the RDA and sources directly. RDA for adult it is 15 to 20. I'll tell you how to remember for the children. Separate 5 from 15 and 20. That will be for children. Now the sources. We have corn, mushroom, egg, cheese, nuts. Okay. You have pork, beef. Okay. Some brief sources. And applied aspect we have the pellagra which is the tryptophan deficiency. Remember, niacin is also produced from uh, this kynurinin pathway of the tryptophan. Okay? We have discussed it. Kynurinin pathway. We will not go into it in this video. Okay? So, the four Ds of pellagra, please remember. Diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis and death. Okay? And here you are seeing the niacin deficiency. The tongue is swollen. There are, lot, there are lots of fissures you are finding here. And here you are finding early skin lesions in this figure. Okay. Right. 
the references from where I took the pictures. That brings us to the end of the video. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.